Hi guys, how are you? So I'm gonna do a quick video um, just to let you know, just kind of a... Um, so I did a video yesterday and I'm highly against, you know, people moving dudes in or moving women in. You don't know this person, you think you know them because you have such great chemistry in bed. And it swoons people and they make some very dumb decisions. And I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say I haven't made dumb decisions, but I, ha I have and I've learned from them. And I don't let people move into my house because when I want to get rid of you, when you act stupid and why I want to get rid of you, I want to be done with you. So my friend and I were talking about the legal ramifications of letting people move into your house, okay, and you're not married. Now, y'all know you're going to have kids with them because a lot of y'all, I don't know what the deal is, but y'all, I don't know if you don't believe in birth control or you don't care if you get pregnant because this guy is Clark Kent. If you have, if you let them live with you and they refuse to leave, they showed their true colors, the honeymoon is over and they showed their true colors. Now you have to put them out and they may decide because they're a predator. I'm not going anywhere. You could try to put me out. I'm not going anywhere. You could call the cops, but the cops are going to tell you that this is a, more than likely. They're going to tell you this is a civil matter. So you may have to put this, go to court and take this person to court, um, which is going to cost you money, right? If you're registered as a domestic partnership, which usually falls under the category of same-sex partners. Um, the laws, if you're living together and you're registered as a domestic partnership, then you have to go to court in order to split ways or legally split ways, similar to being married, kind of. Um, the laws vary from state to state. But yeah, that person could get in your house and say, I'm not going anywhere. I don't care what you say. This is my house. So, another reason why you don't want to let somebody move into your home. You've been living on your own before you knew them. You don't have to let these dudes move in because you think he's wonderful. Because when you're high like that, you cannot make good decisions. See if you feel the same way six months to a year from now or two years from now. Then you all can get married. You know what I'm saying? But don't let stray dogs move into your house. Uh, what was the other topic? And then, of course, if you start popping kids out. You're going to have to, if they act like they want the kid or whatever, then they're going to have to take you to court and you're going to have to fight with that situation. It gets ugly. They try to take the kid from you because the, she's a drug head. She was a drug head when I met her. She refuses to go to rehab, which may or may not be true. But that's what he's going to tell the court. It gets uglier and uglier and uglier. Live by yourself unless you're married and you have some type of legal recourse because you were married for 10 plus years where you have more rights when you've been married for 10 plus years than if you've just been married for a minute or you know, or less than 10 years. So there's legal ramifications for what you do. So just think, 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 don't just do. All right, I love you guys, take care and check the laws in your state and don't let people move in your house. You can avoid all kinds of legal messes, okay? Talk to you later, bye.